Okay, so we've all seen Catfish by now. I'm obsessed with it. It's fine. But have you ever seen an episode where the host of Catfish gets catfished? And I'm not talking about the start because that's how the show began. But since then, Neve, the person who made the show, has dedicated his whole life to preventing other people from being catfished. But what happens when he falls for that same trap again? Except this time, they're not catfishing him directly. I know, it's a wild episode and I am doing a deep dive on the two contestants that I find the most interesting in life. Artist and Jen, but Jen is not really Jen, it's Justin. I might have just given away a little bit there, but that's actually not the most interesting part. These two people are mad. So strap yourselves in, because this is, I, I don't know what to say. I, I've never seen something like this before. Woo. People getting catfished, people going missing, people getting stalked. We need some privacy. That's why I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor of the video, Aura. Okay, so I just did a Google search of my email address and <laughs> it feels really uncomfortable to be seeing all of this information. Kind of disturbing that this is all out there. Data brokers sell your information to scammers. Yes, that's right, everything, including your name, email, home address, health records, butt size, everything. You name it, they sell it. Thankfully, Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits op requests for me. It's impossible to keep track of every website or field I've filled out with my personal information. So this is helpful to oversee everything is in one place. This is how many data brokers Aura found that was selling my information. So by cleaning up my online information, I get less spam, I feel more protected, and I feel more secure against any threats that come my way. On top of that, Aura also offers features like an antivirus, a VPN, password management, parental controls, ID thrift insurance, and more. All in one place and at one affordable price. Aura does the hard work of keeping me safe so I can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I value my privacy and I value yours. Head to https colon forward slash forward slash aura.com slash 16 Leo to start your two week free trial by clicking the link below in my description. Thanks Aura. Let's go. Here we go. We are like in the thick of it. We got an email here. All right. Subject, a cry for help. That's not a cry for help. Oh, I remember when MTV would do this. They'd say something and then like the sidekick would do something and I'd turn the TV off because I don't like, you know what I mean? If the show was called Tony Hawk's and he was like, oh, he did a 360 and then the guy next to him started spinning around. I think that would be too much. Okay, Max? Maximum annoying. Help! Help! That's... That's a cry for help. Yeah. But just saying help, right? All right. Too early for this shit, clearly. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Artis and I live in Woodstock. I started talking to a nice young lady by the name of Jess. Well, that's a catfish. I mean, look at her and look at you. I'm sorry. I'm just saying the picture looks like he took it from an old camera from 1846. And this looks like, well, she looks like a Hooters person or something. I don't know. This doesn't look right. The background is white. She took it in the studio. 23 years old and she's from Morengo, Illinois. We met on Facebook. She is like- Does she look like she's from Illinois? She looks Russian and I don't even know like anything about people. I'm just saying, I know that's might be a little stereotypical, but it's falsely correct. If it's correctical, it can't be stereotypical. Or maybe it can, but maybe it shouldn't, you know? No other woman I've ever met. She's easy to talk to, she's funny, and I've fallen for her. <laughs> All right, so that's the crux of it. This man named Artis. I don't know what his full name is. Artist, I guess. Um, has fallen for a girl called Jen who lives close by. There is an issue, however. I mean, besides the fact she's not real, there's another issue. She is a babysitter and enjoys being around kids. One of the reasons I care for Jess is because we both share a love for children. Okay, it's not their shared love for children, which does admittedly sound like they have a bigger problem than catfish, okay? Uh, and please never say it like that. She has a love of kids. That's why she babysits and waits for the parents to leave. Evil face. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if you should be messing around with people like that, artist. I have three children of my own. I haven't been able to meet Jess because we are both in a relationship. I feel like you can't have three children <laughs> and then go on catfish. I feel like that's too much, bro. That means you at least had three sex with your current partner or former partners. And then you said, hey man, I love you enough to have baby. And then you were like, oh shit, I want to have more baby. And then one more time you said, let's do it again, honey. So now you can't be catfishing. Like this is too much, bro. You got three kids to raise. Stop falling for Hooters waitress. Bro, that's silly. 
You're a silly man. No, I already don't like it. Did he say he was in a relationship? Both of us are currently living with our significant others. They're living with and are unhappy in our relationship. Crazy. This is not Catfish, this is episode of Dr. Full. You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. Oh, I'm currently, I have three kids and a wife and I'm trying to have sex with a poster because I think that's a real human being even though I'm 110% sure it's a man. Oh my, he, Jerry Springer even. Honestly, go on Jerry Seinfeld show, this is a comedy of biblical proportions, bro. Neither one of them know that we are talking. Oh boy. It's easier for us to text or message on Facebook because we have been keeping our relationship a secret. Relationship? I thought you used to like her. So there's many problems here. I just thought it was gonna be, I like her, she got big titties, and my current, you know, partner doesn't, whatever, some, something like that, some stupid stuff. This, there's a lot of moving parts. He has three kids, she loves kids. Question mark, question mark, I don't know what that's. R. Kelly, okay, um, and then they're both in a relationship, not with each other, but also with each other. And you're asking Neve to help a person who just enters people's homes without consent. You're asking him to help you? Okay. I know it's wrong and I feel guilty, but I need to get out of the relationship that's not working for me and into one that will. I want to break up with my current girlfriend, but want to know where I stand with Jess first. No, come on, bro. See, look. Like, look, catfish is catfish. You might, you might be a granny, you might fall for Johnny Depp. But as long as you're not a granny who has a grand husband falling for Johnny Depp, things are fine. It's all in good fun. We all love a good catfish when it's, when it's nice and single. If you're in a relationship and you're still trying to date someone, how much sympathy am I supposed to have for you? If you're trying to cheat on the side with someone who doesn't exist, that just sounds like comic justice, really. That just sounds like, ha 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 ha, you deserve that artist, ya bitch. But he has three kids, so I can't even say that. Always, it's always with these catfish people. You have to have kids and then you start going AWOL. Like everyone just forgets they have kids. I don't understand. How you have kids and then be like, well now I'll be in love. That's not. No, this guy's got to break. Forget this guy's got to break. No, up I'm with not this helping girlfriend. him. No, this break guy has him. to yeah. break up with his uh -uh. girlfriend first. What the fuck just happened there? I just, I just heard two people be like, "Nah, -uh. I'm not helping him at all. This is, mm -mm. we're not gonna help him until he breaks up with his girlfriend. Then we'll give him the help he needs." That conversation immediately went from "I'm not helping him" to "Well, well we should help him, obviously." But like, let, let's. Make, there was no argument. They were just, they both understood. They're going to help this man regardless if he's cheating on his wife or not, doesn't matter. They're gonna help him. That's definitely not something I've seen from Catfish before. Well, let's oh. give him a call. Hey, how you guys doing? Just read your crazy email. I never thought that you could call an email before. This is, this is definitely good. I never, didn't even know that emails ring. Definitely good, good work, guys. I'm gonna start calling my boss via email. You know what, that's not even a joke anymore. You can Google Calendar, but back in their day, you can. And I know I could say back in their day because Max is still holding that one what? megapixel piece of shit. He calls a camera while there's two other better cameras facing them. Max refuses to be at all, even a little bit senseful. He's so fucking stupid Some Okay, that camera doesn't do anything. It's like holding a potato. It might, you might as well have hold a potato. In case you get hungry, you can at least eat that. Maybe you should just kind of fill us in on all the details. Currently in a relationship, currently dating somebody online. <laughs> That's why you call catfish. Currently I got a wife, but I'm trying to have a side bitch. Neve, you should know all about that. And he's like, oh, whoa. God, Dad, don't call me out on the show like that. But you know, we got kids and stuff, and just to happen in another one like this, that's why I, I, need, I need you guys, man. No, oh, you need Jesus at this point, man. Like, this is, can't be out here with those headphones, earphones that still connect, looking like you're a doctor with a stethoscope trying to talk about relationships. Bro, you need help. You got kids in a relationship. You got commitments, and you're still trying to... I know, Big Titties is hypnotizing. Akon said it. You got me so hypnotized the way your body goes round and round. Them titties keep jumping up and down. That's a great song. That's great. I read it every day. I love that song. But you can't let Akon dictate your future because he also got locked up. And I don't know if that's what you want. Tell us about Jess. Tell us about wh what you like about her. She just sparks up my day. Like everything falls in line when I talk to her. He said, everything falls in line when I talk to her. She's so good at talking. Looking for someone to make me happy. You are that someone for me. Honestly, dude, he could be getting catfished by chat GPT at this point. He could honestly be getting catfished by an eight magic eight ball. Hmm, ask me later. 
Hmm, yes, I do love you. What dry texting this is. Oh my goodness. You like that? Do you have any doubts? Uh, a little bit because we never talked on the phone. We never Skyped before. I so, and, you, and you're going to leave your wife for a woman who you haven't seen or Skyped or talked on the phone. So you're going to leave your wife for a texting machine. You're going to leave your wife for a Nokia phone is what you're doing. You're, you're going to leave your wife and three kids for a Nokia cell phone. That's, don't call me, he can't hear me talking to you. All right, well, you can tell her to go outside, and if she can't go outside, you might as well not date her, because you don't want a, a, a lady who can't leave the house. Come on, this is crazy. She's also still in a relationship. I mean, that's crazy too, right, bro? Don't know why I'm trying to make sense of this, this is crazy. Because uh, she talks about it a lot. She says she's ready to cut that off too, so. If we do come, and we show come, yeah, okay, so then Max says, if we do come, and then pauses. I think I talked about this, the last catfish. He pauses every time. If we do come, which we will. Um, what, um, uh, yeah, are you gonna break up, or what, what's gonna happen there? Because I'm not coming. Maybe I am. Until you do. We show up at the house. What are you going to say to your girlfriend? I wouldn't even want to meet you guys at the house. All right, so at this point, catfish people should be like, no, look, artist, you you seem like a stupid man anyway, but no, I'm not going to indulge this type of lifestyle. I'm not going to perpetuate it or put it on MTV for people to see and then acknowledge and then accept that behavior. I would never do that. What actually happens is them saying, okay, sure, we'll meet you outside in a random location. Just tell us that you broke up with your girlfriend, which he probably didn't, but okay. You have a responsibility to communicate to the woman that you share your life with and share a child with. It's not cool. I don't want to be part of that. Because Neve, last time, and the last time I watched the series with him, he said to a girl, that's lame. This time he's like, cheating? Not cool. Is Neve a guidance counselor or something? Is this like, this is the best he could come up with? Smoking? That's for people who suck, okay? Cheating? Not cool, dude. And I'll tell you what, pretending to be someone you're not, that's lame. That's why you should always be yourself. Ask me, Neve. He honestly sounds like a PSA kind of person. This is not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be fun. We got some real stuff to deal with here. All right, I'm ready. Okay, so I guess Neve is like, hey, it's not cool, so fix that. So hopefully we'll meet him at the house and I guess he'll talk to his lady about not being in a relationship, right? I'm ass I don't actually know what they agreed upon now. I... This seems like it's going nowhere slowly. Oh man, he's going out of his way to pursue what could be very meaningful or potentially disastrous. I'm sorry. I know sometimes I can be nitpicky. It's hard for me not to. And you've pressed escape when the call is done. Escape does nothing. If you're on Skype, you click the button to close it. <laughs> you press. And it made us sound like the 2000, like <laughs> Neve, come on, man. MTV is like, they know their audience is stoned out of their fucking minds. Like, like whoa. whoa. This guy's in a relationship? Oh shit, look at her. Where did my friend go? Oh, I don't have it. Oh. First relationship. I'm not going there until he breaks but up. But I'm not, right, I'll go there, You're but I'm not go. gonna help him meet Jess until he breaks up with his girlfriend. Why do they, why, why? I'm not going there until he fixes it. I will go there, but but I'm not gonna go and be happy about it. I will, I'll help him, but I'll be, I'll be crying while I help him. I, I'll fix his relationship for him, and I, and I won't even high five him at the end. I'll be, I'll, I'll marry them both, the new couple, and, and I'll be the best man, but I won't be happy. They're just one-upping each other on stuff they'll bend to like artists womb. I don't know why I don't get it if that's all that we help right, you do that's that's, that's something all right let's go but last night I worry now no what are you working at cardio come on Neve looks like Brandon Ingram no Neve and Max actually go to Chicago because they're like look even if we just help him break up with his girlfriend that's the job well done what we do at catfish is help people cry break up and then realize that they've been in a shambled relationship their whole life we are the people who practice making other people's lives worse so they're they went to Chicago just for that and then Neve somehow managed to injure himself by just being alive, I guess. I think I hit, like, the leg. And I've got a big egg on my foot. But, you know, the show must go on. Yeah, so Neve was, like, stepping. He's a big stepper, and then, like, he managed to injure himself by doing some big step. Tough. But Neve is like, yo, man, I gotta, I gotta help break up this relationship. Nothing, it doesn't sleep. They don't sleep. 
together because I didn't break them up yet. I think it's worth noting that we are shadily meeting artists at a diner. And you? Good to meet you. So then they meet artists at a diner, which again, blows my mind because I don't know if he broke up with them. That Neve even says it. I think it's worth noting, shadily we're doing this. I thought they were definitely not gonna do this, but they meet him and he's wearing a green shirt. He looks like the manager there, but he's not, he's just, <laughs> he's just eating there. No, it's more like a financial relationship. We don't even sleep in the same room. Damn, you don't even sleep in the same room? How big is your house? I don't even have that luxury. Even if I hate my wife, I'm gonna have to sleep in the same bed with her. I don't have that many rooms. You must be doing really well, artist. What the hell? You can afford not to sleep with your wife. I have to sleep with mine. Ugh. Where are your feelings for her? My feelings for her is, you know, they like through the roof right now. Okay, so his feelings are through the roof. His relationship is in the gutter. Uh, things are going well. He's not sleeping with his wife in the same bedroom. I think she's his girlfriend. So he has three kids. I don't even know if they sleep in the house or... Not sure. I'm daydreaming about our future. I can only assume this is artists saying that because I don't know who Red and Blue is. It's like a Crip and Blood love story at this point. But the person in Blue replies, it will happen. I'm telling you, it's like an eight ball. I'm dreaming about you, my love. I, I would, I need you to know how much I love you and I think of the day that I can be with you. It'll happen. Yes, and I want to have kids and I want to make sure that we have a great house and have a great family. Yep, that's all, that's gonna happen. Mm. Okay, good, I'm glad you're on board. I haven't physically seen her or physically touched her. She's right here with me. I feel like she cares about me. It's not like you're smoking something, bro. You haven't physically seen her or she's not even there, but she's someone you trust. This feels like, you know, a spirit guiding you. Is she a spirit? You watch Ghostbusters? What, what happened there? Leaving your wife for a thought? <laughs> okay. I'm searching for a paradise that I just can't seem to find. How many pictures? Yep, so then they're exchanging, they'll love each other forever type vibes, things you say when you don't understand the concept of forever. That's what I asked her too. I mean, she said the reason why she don't got a lot of uh, pictures on her Facebook because her boyfriend. She got a real strict boyfriend. I know Facebook is a bit dated, right? I think it's called Meta. It's not even called Facebook. But like back in Neve day and even my day a little bit, um, Facebook was the thing that when you were growing up, you would expose way too much information about yourself on. Like you would put a thousand photos up for no reason off every day and every time. It's kind of like, at least on Instagram, people pretend that their lives are actually good. On Facebook, it's like, I suck. You can see it every single day. Look at this bullshit. My aunt, like that one, again, that's what Facebook is. So to have one picture is like, you know that person's fake because there is nobody at all who has one picture on Facebook. Everyone has multiple. You don't even need to put your own pictures on Facebook. Other people tag you in photos. So th that's 100% fake. Can you show us the picture that you have of Jess? Wow. She's got like the, her girls are uh, on display, but her boyfriend is strict. So, you know, that's ob obviously very hypocritical because the girls are, woo. Get frisky. Yeah, we have. We talk about sexual things. My name is sexy. Why did you ask it, Max? Max is, he's a pervert. I know Max is a pervert of some caliber. The way he asked it, he's like, talk about sexual things. Why? Why do you want to know this? Does this pertain to the case at any, what are you doing, Max? This has nothing to do with anything. That's like, you know, the person marrying the bride and groom, he's like, do you guys fuck? Anyway, uh, do you take this man in sickness and in big dick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Miss Sexy, wishing that was you right here rubbing you down and kissing your body down slow. <laughs> and she replies, that made my morning. Some of the hottest sex thing I ever heard in my life. That made my morning? Oh. I'm going to start saying that too. So say, say something to me. That was nice for me. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wishing that you was right here rubbing, rubbing you down, kissing your body down. <laughs> Why did he read it? Nee, what are you doing, bro? You got to read it like, like an artist wrote it though. Hey, Miss Sex. Hey, wishing that was you right here rubbing your body down, kissing you down slow. That made my morning. Hello. Are you just looking at it like, oh, why are you reading it, bro? Have you ever showed your homie your sext? <laughs> this is my sexting game, chief. I would like to touch you in the boobs and then smile. Oh, very good, guys. Artists just looking, oh, that's that's gotta be embarrassing. The deal is, you gotta do your side. 
That's which is true. sit down with your girlfriend, mm. tell her how you're feeling. Oh, I thought they were broken up, bro. I thought the whole, oh, okay. I don't, I am so, so confused at what is happening with Artis. Is he actually breaking up? I feel like he's just holding on to her to whether he knows if Jess is like, that was his initial plan. Even though the boys were like, no, you can't do that. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Stupid saying, I know, but uh, this is what it is. I, I don't, come on, dude. Come on. I feel like artist needs to actually make a decision here. I don't know who this lady is, but I feel sorry for her. This man is out here on TV being like, don't tell my, don't tell my girlfriend. It's gonna air on MTV. If you don't have a TV, maybe she won't see it, but someone with a TV will. He right. finally gets affection and attention that he so desperately wants. On the surface, this girl Jess does not seem very legit. That's crazy though. I mean like this actually, I know this is like different sort of catfish, different era. And we're looking at like the differences between like scamfish, which is like these real people, these older people usually who are genuinely in that same position. It's been like a while, they haven't felt affection. And the first instance of attention, they get hooked like a fish basically. And now catfish is like saying the same thing, except there is some devious shit to the case that goes on way behind the scenes that we're going to get into. The parallels are quite similar. And like, I think that's crazy because people feel that regardless. I feel like everyone feels lonely. Everyone at some point feels isolated, even potentially in relationships. And for some reason, I don't know if we've been indoctrinated to do it or not, but people don't tend to talk it out. Maybe because they're too scared they won't find anyone else. Maybe because they don't want to hurt the other person. There's a lot of reason. But if you don't communicate, you're not going to get to where you need to go. And you're going to hold the other person back too. That's the selfish part. I just got really deep for no reason because, God, these two people. Max, <laughs> stop pointing the camera. So let's check out her Facebook page. Yes, First Mandy. of all, here she is. All right, she works at Hooters. No, motherfucker. No, you can't say your boyfriend is protective and then work at Hooters and have one picture openly. You can't. My boyfriend's really protective of me. He's a priest. What do you do? I'm a stripper. He comes to my shows. He throws bulls down and says, Lord, forgive me. I don't, uh, it's just how we roll. So this girl who's so worried about her possessive, jealous boyfriend is now saying, I'm single now. Maybe her boyfriend is blind. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bored and single. Does somebody want to hang or bang? Artists. You can't pretend, like, you're not old enough to be that stupid. She got a profile that says single, she works at Hooters, has one picture, and one of her posts says bored and single, wanna hang or bang? And you're like, that's my wife, that's my future wife right there. I'm gonna hang and bang on her. I like this girl. To God. What? Okay. You know what? He deserves the catfish. Don't even tell him. Let him do this. Let him do this. Let him burn his house to the ground. I don't believe that you're real. Kevin did go to Marengo High School. Okay, so yeah, she asked the general public if they want to hang or bang. This is what... See, again, you kids don't understand. Facebook was used as every... You guys got Tinder, Bumble, Fumble, Grumble, whatever. I used to have Facebook. That's basically IG, Tinder, Tumblr, Ask FM. All that shit rolled into one thing that can embarrass you to no end because no matter what, you can't get rid of it. And you used to ask some dank stuff and people used to answer some dank stuff and it is just a cesspool of bullshit. Facebook, any dream you have can be ruined by using it. Thanks, Mark. Anyway, Kevin answers and this guy doesn't want to hang or bang. He just straight up doesn't believe this person exists, leading to Neve actually calling him because he messages him and then they somehow start up a call. And Kevin basically says, hey, this person doesn't exist. I have never seen them. I would have known if this girl existed in Marengo High School. Nobody looks like that around here. And they get further proof that this person doesn't exist. All right, let's message this guy. Hey, oh, wow. Kevin, we would well, love a to ask you a couple questions. Why are he reading it like he's writing it at the- You can clearly see the shit's already written. Does he- does Neve read it at a one grade level or something? What the fuck is that about? Hi, Kevin. How you are- how are you doing? I'm just feeling not to ask you a question. Max is like, what? Just let me write it, Neve. From Marengo. Are we missing anything? Whoa. That was fast. Is. Whoa, I didn't even give him my number. How to. Whoa! I've never seen a girl in my life. I know everybody is dumb. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. 
Okay, so they got like an alibi sort of, kind of. Kevin with a baseball bat knows every person in town. So Kevin's baseball career has not picked up, basically, because he's been in town. He's stayed and lived in town, but he's the alibi. Although you're not gonna be able to bring Kevin to court and be like, he's fake, I know, I have a baseball bat. It doesn't really hold up too well. Then Neve and Max do something actual. They take the one picture and put it into Google's reverse search. I don't know why I said Google. I wish they had reverse search. They put it into a reverse search engine to see where the picture originates from. And you would not believe it, but it's not Marengo High School. I mean, they're all just garbage porn They're all sites. porn sites. You'll oh. like to see these. Yeah, he sure will. That's right. She's from not Hooters. She's from Hooters minus the t-shirts. That's where she's from. Uh-oh, Jess Venny. If she has a boyfriend that's overprotective, he probably doesn't know what she's doing when he leaves the house. Damn. It's n it doesn't bode well when your profile picture is that of a P star. Yeah. I know what I'll do. I'll take a picture from, from a porn, porn website yeah. and I'll use that as my profile pic and maybe some guys will will like reach out to me. Right. Max is completely right. Max is actually foreshadowing the whole eventuation of Catfish in its entirety for a different reason. Because for whatever reason, everyone on Catfish, the MTV show, doesn't seek money. They're just doing it for their own weird reasons. And I find that even more like mind boggling that people would just catfish someone. Because on Scamfish, I at least understand the human psyche of, okay, I'm extorting someone for money. It's not ethical. It should be illegal. I don't know if it is, but like, I, I'm like, oh, okay, you're not just waking up pretending to be someone else for no reason. You have really horrible morals and that's your reason. I, I can see, I can actually put that together. Max pretty much called that out. People just catfishing each other is like, what is your motive? Which again, we'll find out later. And the motive is batshit crazy, but you know, mm, <laughs> why? Though. What's now sort of an interesting curveball is Jess may not be real, but artists and his life and his situation is. No, well, Jess isn't real. You know that, Neve. You don't say might be. You literally just got proof that she isn't. The girl is real because she's not an AI person. And yeah, artist situation sucks, but he just left his, you know, girlfriend and three kids for a uh, P star. I mean, like that seems like a problem he should deal with that's beyond the show Catfish's skills. This was the longest talk I think I've ever had, but it was good to talk and let things out. Hey man. Why does he look like Where's Wally, black version? Why does this man refuse to wear shirts that accommodate how a person should look? Why is he wearing like a, just a selection of colors on his shirt? Okay, okay. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I just never known someone to do this, bro. He's just blinding me as we speak, man. It has nothing to do with anything. The I, he broke up with his girlfriend, like Ariana Grande song. He did it, now he's going for Jess Venny. The problem is Jess Venny doesn't exist. It's not what's up. Not even sleeping in the same room with each other. You know, we came to like some type of agreement. Motherfucker, Max, you motherfucker. Max, he's actually talking some real shit right now. Max is out here like, yeah, yeah, and then what? And then this is for my vlog. I'm trying to catch up with David Dobrik. He has like 18 million subscribers. Me and Neve created our own YouTube channel. It's called Catfished. It's got 200 subscribers. Just keep talking. I want to talk about, oh, uh-huh. Oh, and then what happened? You broke up with her. That's, that sucks, G. Tell me more. Did you sex her? Work together as far as like help each other financially for the time being until we save up enough money and move on, so. I've never heard that before in my life. They're gonna save up enough money to move on. That's gangsta. Hey. Hey, I don't like you anymore, all right? I think that uh, 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 my love for you has been lost for a long time, okay? So if you and me could just work together, start a business, make a lot of money, maybe we could leave each other. All right. That's my wife right there. Hopefully soon to be my ex. We'll see. Well, um, you know, the guys up here from Catfish are up here. You know, they trying to help me out and find out who she really is. And she good luck on that. So apparently everything worked swimmingly well. Like he had the conversation. She was like, let's make enough money to move out of each other's lives. This should be great. And then he was also like, hey, by the way, I'm already trying to talk to a new girl. I have been for five months. She's like, oh, man, that's crazy. And then he's like, hey, but also I don't know if she's real and the guys from Catfish are up there. All of this happened in one conversation and she was like, it is what it is. It sounds like you made all of that bullshit up, but okay. That's good. Cause I mean, I gotta be honest, if I was one of the three kids and I was like, dad's having a mental episode or something here because he's he's now talking about a person who I know is a porn star. How do I know? Mom, don't ask. 
incognito tab. Really angry about it. No, nah, it was like she was comfortable with it, serious. Uh, she was comfortable, she wasn't even mad, she was comfortable. She hugged him, she said, this makes me feel good. At least one of us is getting pussy in this household. That is great. Artists, go, yes sir, you do it. Do her like you did me. In this case, we didn't really have a lot to go off of. We went to her Facebook profile page. So after the fantastically good music, and I don't know if we're supposed to feel like uplifted thing happened. Not sure. I guess artists did something good and everyone's happy. Then comes the actual like surprise moment where they have to tell him that Jess Venny doesn't exist at all. And this is gonna be a shocker for the man. And we did an image search and it came back on like a ton of websites. Damn. Doing this at a coffee shop, just showing people like <laughs> erotica. Damn, <laughs> the person who's serving the coffee must be, damn. What are you guys doing? Starbucks isn't used for this. This is not Starbucks with three X's. What the fuck, man? Oh, hell no. The girl oh, in this no. picture is not the girl you're talking to. <laughs> that can't be your reaction if you're talking to someone for five months, like, and you see them and you're like, this is not at all who I've been talking to. Oh, hell no. Damn. My life fucked up. What? Oh, shit. You can't do that. This guy's reacting so well to like, I loved her. Oopsie. Oops. That's not a thing, is it? Like, I, I expressed myself to this woman, you know what I'm saying? I opened up my life. Wow, he said never had this deep of a connection before. She didn't even respond to that. That's how deep this connection is. I really would like to, you know, actually sit down and, you know, ask this person, well, why me, you know? I don't know, Neve, if you can call it a connection at this point. I'm not sure if saying, like, some dry-ass statements one sext intentionally catfishing someone counts as a connection i think more or less that's a troll so i don't know man we should reach out to her on facebook so for some reason the catfish team decides that despite knowing that this is a huge catfish and probably a red flag they proceed with the investigation under the guise that this man is still in love with someone there might still be a connection they still need to explore it so they actually message the girl herself jenny oh wait a second she wrote back I'm just curious if this is really you or just some joke. How the hell did she, whoa, my God. She wrote back like before you even sent it, dude. Is that not crazy? Holy, she was just waiting on the computer like his Neve's gonna send this shit very soon. Does that not seem a little fishy? The catfish responded within seconds, Neve. It's obviously me because I know about artists. Well, artists could have made a fake profile and sent that to her. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> She's asking if they're real? Guys, we're not gonna play catfish with a catfish. You didn't go to like the police station and the people from behind bars are like, are you innocent? Don't, don't question yourself right now. You are Neve, believe it or not, and the other guy's Max with the camera. We know this. No point to it. Okay, we got a shot. Oh. So then these two boneheads send Jess a picture of uh, themselves proving they're real uh, for no reason at all now oh my gosh that was really stupid guys i mean like in the sense of like who i don't know who's getting catfish more at this point like artist is at number one but closely closely a number two is neve who's injured by walking and also sending catfishes his real profile picture why don't you send them your social security while you're at it just you have your identity taken, bro. You might be them. I'm just wondering how well you know artists. What is this BS that we've got to prove to her that we know artists and we've got to prove who we- Why are you- why are you doing this now? You already sent this photo. Like, you can't- you can't already do it and then start complaining, bro. You also, it's hard to take you seriously when you're holding that stupid camera. You don't even look like you want to hold it. Max, please. I mean, this is maximum stupidity. Maximum effort, minimum results, right? <laughs> He is really willing to risk everything for me. Ask him, is it her or me? I need to know. In terms of this whole episode, like I've been watching it with my jaw open the whole time. The fact that Neep. One second. Two thousand years later. Yeah, sorry, people were vacuuming. They needed to clean up. The... It's a dirty place. All right. OMG, he really did that? My God, I can't believe it. He really wants me now. How do I do this? Why is Neve playing the matchmaker? Like this dude is not, I thought his whole job was to find out like who catfished who. First of all, he found a couple 
and both of them were cheating on their spouses. He's like, ah, that's fine with me. Then, like, as if it was bad karma, he was just walking up steps and, you know, his, suddenly, like, his leg got busted up, so he can't even walk. But he still proceeds. He's like, the show must go on. I must continue to ruin these people's lives. Now he's playing matchmaker with someone he knows is a fake person just to get them to meet, just to ruin someone's life. Neve is evil. I want this more than anything, but I need time to think, and please don't take it as a no. I will let you know tomorrow. All right, so uh, turns out Jess is not thinking about it, and none of this is going to Artis for some reason, the person who she supposedly loves. I don't know if they're gonna call Artis and tell him, but like, this is like high school when you don't tell the person you like them, you tell the person's friend that you like them and see what the person's friend says back to you. It's always a middleman involved. Neve is the middleman. Oh, what, you got something? I do. Meet me at Emerickson Park in Woodstock. Bring Artis too. Okay, so the next day, they wake up, they're in the same clothes and in the same position, it seems. They wake up the next day and it's 10.30, almost 10.45, uh, and she has a message and Neve checks his Facebook again and she does message, this time saying not only does she want to see artists, but she's dying to see him, which sounds like a trap. But these two, again, boneheads are so happy, they're like, yay, love. Um, so I don't know, like they just go in. And I know that they probably know. It's obviously a catfish of some sort, but like that sounds scary, right? To like, I need to think about it to, no, 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 I am dying to see you. Does that not sound just a little scary? Max the skeptic should at least be telling Neve to like, bring up, bring some sort of protection. <laughs> I don't mean a condom. We just finished talking to Jess. Jump in. Get shotgun. Prepare yourself, because. That was a very fast sort of thing that happened. I was still trying to process, so they call the artists, they're like, hey yo, she wants to meet you at Emerickson Park. And then they like pull up on him immediately. The door like just open. Jump in, shotgun. Jump in. Get shotgun. And like, he just has to get in. He doesn't even get a choice of whether to sit in the back. Max gets kicked the fuck out. He's like, yeah, you don't even ride in the car from now on, Max. You have to run behind the car with a camera. <laughs> we know nothing about this person. There he is in the back. Max look like a damn kid and shit. Oh, Max always get treated badly. He's some of, he's my favorite and least favorite character of Catfish, which is sad because there's only two. Man, see, these shirts make artists look like a 35-year-old, 14-year-old man. This is never like these weird two-tone crap shirts that look like you couldn't decide which color you wanted, so you pick both. I don't, he, did, he looked like a boy, man. Uh-oh, wait a second. Kind of, I don't know what this is. So they're waiting at a park, and I mean, like that looks suspicious in itself. One black man in a very suspicious shirt of a guy with a camera filming behind his head for some reason, and a very a <laughs> thin, scrawny white man in crutches. Like, that looks like a scene. Like, and you're standing at a park where kids are and stuff. So it's like already like, whoa. But like, to make matters worse, a car pulls up and the car looks like it had been like through it. The car looks like it'd been through war or something. And here's where it just gets crazy. Like, if you haven't seen this, this is now the craziest thing you'll see today. This dude pulls up and, you know, he looks like he hasn't showered in days. He looks like he just found that car, stole it, like it's GTA, and pulled up to em Emerickson Park. And the way he turns, just, it like, it indicates he's a villain already. But this is the guy. This is Jen. Oh, no, this ain't the <laughs> it's gotta be the most like asshole thing that he starts slow clapping. Don't even introduce yourself. This, imagine if this guy was like slow clapping for the full wrong thing. He thought this was like a different thing going down. It was like, oh, what? Catfish. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought this was a swap meet. My bad. <laughs> Carry on. This dude. Excuse me. Yes, man. <laughs> be gone. Be gone, little man. Me and, <laughs> me and this man need to have a conversation. Be gone, Neve. It's me, Max, and this guy now. Excuse I'll me. tell you one thing right now, Excuse buddy. Excuse me. One thing you're gonna like. What, no, what's dude. going on? I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. What? Damn. Okay, so... <laughs> I've never seen someone so, like, on the 100 the minute they step out. This this dude comes through and he is, he is fuming. He still hasn't introduced himself. This still could be the wrong person. We don't really know. Neve is like trying to defend him even though he has only one leg. Max, for some reason, is like, I gotta film this instead of like prevent this. And, and we're still, I, I guess this is Jen. The hairline is way different. Dude, you take it down a couple notches. Hey, you brought a lot of attitude. By the way, a lot of attitude last night. 
Thanks a lot. Really felt it too. <laughs> so. <laughs> Neve like pushes him back. He's like, yo, calm it down. And this guy starts off with a hey as if he had something to say, then trails off because I don't know if he knew what he was going to say. Hey, by the way, a lot of attitude. And you can see like Neve's face just going from like, uh, I think sort of like worried to just absolutely confused as to what the hell is happening or what he's even saying. Uh, this guy is the guy that I wanted to talk about this whole episode. And there is more beyond the episode that I have to show you. But yeah, this this is this is Jen. Come here, we're gonna talk. You, you can still be my chocolate kiss too. You don't forget about that, baby. It feels like he's just like slightly Nicolas Cage's son or something, like just an unhinged human being that came out of like Nicolas Cage's mind to like cause havoc on people. Just, <laughs> you could be my chocolate kiss. Mm. Slow clapping to the man, then saying that is just, he, treat, he, he treats him better than most women, I think. Like this. Do you know this, this guy? No, I don't know this. Are you Jess? Yeah, I'm Jess. You're Jess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jess. He's like, <laughs> puts his hair back as if that would like do anything for anyone. This dude literally looks like he came from like the YMCA playing basketball. Be like, oh shit, my catfish is at 2.30. I gotta be there. I just, he didn't dress up nothing. This is actually the, the apex of catfish. Cause like you want someone who's dressed up like all oh, in makeup, look, you know, the girls are hanging out and everything. What you got is a guy who in the shittiest car and the shittiest uniform with the shittiest haircut, slow clapping. That's crazy. I mean, this, this, that, there. That's what I had. Yep, so everything's a bit confusing. Artist goes back to the car. This guy is just, he starts pumping his chest. We're still sort of like wondering, okay, now we know he's Jess. And the big question is, why? Is he gay? What's happening? Not everything is as it seems. Not everything you see or want it to be can be exactly what you want it to be. Oh my god, he's explaining a Christopher Nolan film for some reason. What the fuck? That's pretty much the explanation for any time I watch his movies. All right. What are you so angry about? Come on, the guy's got a family and he's talking to me? He thinks he's talking to some broad? Yeah, I'd be mad. I'd be mad too. This guy has a point. That's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's not bad. Why'd you guys film it at a park where there's kids? Like, well, it's like a jungle gym and stuff in the back. You really want the kids to be scared off by whatever is going on here. This is what humans grow up to be. Weird people. I don't know if I like that. But he did think he was talking to a girl. Exactly. As, right. So oh. you're, you're a good actress. Sure, I like that. Yeah, why not? This guy has so many quotables. Like, this is this is how I respond to people at Subway when they ask me, like, you want cheese? Sure, I like that. Why not? And then they just give, give me the Subway for free because they're scared of me by now. I This guy has been such a great influence into my life, and I have don't even know him. That. My name's Justin. I'm going to take a, take a stab at this. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just the way he's talking, it sounds like a fucking script. My name's Justin. And then Neve's like, I'll take a stab at this. And you can hear him go, sure. Like a very calm Nicolas Cage sort of like, he's about to explode or implode. Either one is going to happen. He's sitting way too calmly on that bench. I knew something was up, but not like this. This is wild. This guy looks like he could throw a fist or a kiss at any given time. You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. You are pretending to be a girl online and, and having a romantic relationship with a guy, so. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. Well, I guess he's gay then. I, uh, I don't. <laughs> Neve just helped a man figure out his sexual identity. I mean, it's, it's catfish in many ways. I guess he, this man had been catfishing his own feelings. Wow. We're really discovering a lot on this episode. <laughs> it was such a quick, like, going from no to. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was, I was looking at a man's ding dong for a while. It's pretty good. Yo, Neve's face is so confused that the top of his eyebrow is actually making like a like a crevice, bruh. Holy crap! You can put your finger in that crevice. That's a deep crevice. That is hello confused. What my message is to tell people: Look, you can't just around on relationships that you're in. You felt like it was your job. Full disclosure: When I was like 17. 
with my friend. Uh, we created a fake goal profile on like Ask if it was some some one of these bullshit sites. And the amount of guys that just like threw themselves at this profile, it was like eye opening to see how stupid guys. Are. So like since that day, I was like, I'm never doing this again. This is the craziest thing. I can see like how someone could like you know do it, but like anything other than this seems like weird vigilantism where he's like, I'm gonna stop men from cheating by being a woman and exposing them. And it sounds, it's vigilantism in the way that it's like, he's not actually helping people, but he's sort of like trying to take on a big moral dilemma. And instead of actually just being positive in his life, he's using his time to bring other people down. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. You guys were having some sexual. Oh yeah. He didn't even finish the damn sentence, bro. And also, Max, I told you Max is a pervert. That's the only thing Max ever thinks about. Is like, you guys were having sexual. Didn't even finish the sentence. The guy's like, oh yeah, anything you can think of. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why I soul clapped at the start. Oh yeah. Damn, what is this sex thing? I need you to put one on me. That doesn't even sound like a... That sounds like something a weightlifter could say. I need you to put one on me, bro. Just give me some more weights. You better be ready. For this moment, so that you could con catch him. Yeah. Con I can't wait to kiss those lips. That's not even, that's not even dirty. That's just romantic, okay? If you'll excuse me for a second, I'm gonna go speak to artists, sort of see how he's okay. doing. Okay. I hands. don't wanna talk to him. <laughs> so, so they get what they need out of Justin, and then Neve is like, I'm gonna talk to artists, and he leaves. And you can see, there's so many things happening at the, Start, you can see Justin being like, what? And like, he puts his hands out, then he's like, oh yeah, I forgot that I'm not the one being catfished. And then it leaves Max to be like, I, I don't really even want to associate with this guy. Max is the one with two legs at the moment. He's the one that could walk faster and better to artists. And Neve could stay here and talk, but they just didn't want to do that. Neve just, even with one leg, Neve didn't want to be around Justin. I'm not normally like this, but I am a little nuts right now. Well, a little nuts is a very, very underwhelming way of putting what this guy is. And I'm telling you, the cameras were on and I thought, okay, when they say cut, he's gonna be like, good performance, chaps. So or some, you know, bullshit like that, Oscar winning actor, Justin. It's not. I wish this was an act. It's not. I felt like he was kind of doing the same thing. So yeah, I kind of took it personally. But you're in a relationship. Yeah. Does she <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, oh, I've seen the way people have treated her. But you're in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that too. I'm gonna, despite the fact that I do this, someone actually gives me their time. Can't say the same for you, Max, you pervert. Know that you're here right now? 100%. She knows that you've had this fake profile? Ever since I started it. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's the face. That's the face. That's the Max face right there. That's the face of like, I am I just shat myself and I'm excited. What a great face. That's my boyfriend. I don't Yeah, someone needs to make this their profile picture. That's the face of maximum enjoyment right there. Maximum pants shitting. <laughs> He's just pooped himself one was like, I don't know what to do. This moment is so wild, I just made it wilder. Have there been other guys? Or... No, dude, no. Why you even have crutches if you can hold them both in one hand? Dude, he is, I bet this dude was walking to the car. He's like, yeah, no, no, no. I held crutches in one hand. That's like sitting in a wheelchair then standing up when you want. Bruh. I, under the Jess profile, would tell them, hey, you want to meet at a movie theater? You want to meet at a bar? They'd go to the bar and there'd be nobody there. Are you the, the girlfriend police? Max seems to have like a personal issue with this. Like, are you going to do this in other states? Namely, Los Angeles, because uh, uh, California, just shut up. You know, I hate people like you trying to expose people. If people want to do what they want to do in their own time, okay, Justin? Like, and Neve is looking like, whoa, what? That, none of that was in the script, what the fuck? I hate cheaters, that's why I did it. I, I honestly hate cheaters. Oh man, if you hate cheaters, you should watch a show called Cheaters. Bro, if you were the host of Cheaters, I would watch that show every day because the show would not be 20 minutes. It would be 220 minutes because you'd be like absolutely destroying these people. And hey man, cheaters suck, okay? I think cheetahs suck because I don't think they're as vast as people say. But anyway, the point is, it doesn't matter about either of those two things because they're just opinions. Factually speaking, you can't say cheaters suck. That's an opinion.
Unfortunately, you can still live a life. So Justin, I feel like if you were trying to eradicate crime or stuff that's illegal, maybe I'd be more on your side. But right now you just got this dude sitting by a tree in the worst possible shirt I've ever seen known to man crying. He looks like he could blend in with like fucking concrete. Why is that shirt? It's like gray and dark purple. Brother, of course you weren't gonna find a girl like, not with that dress sense. We said to him, we'll come meet you but we're not gonna help you meet this girl until you tell your current girlfriend the truth. That's not at all what they said, actually. <laughs> they actually just kept doing things until he broke up. Was, they were like, we'll never meet you in your like private place, then proceeded to meet him in a diner where he didn't tell his girlfriend anything. Then they were like, we're not gonna help you until you fix that shit. So I don't know if Neve can take the moral high ground here. I feel like a lot of this episode was shady on both sides of the coin. You sort of did the opposite. You encouraged his relationship while also promoting- Well, that's a nice picture. Grown man crying beside tree as fountain bellows in the background. This is what Chicago looks like after Michael Jordan left. You manipulated him into this relationship to somehow prove that you could catch a cheater. Oh, yo, I think they have that show, to catch a predator and they got to catch a cheater. Man, all of these shows, artists, uh, I mean, I'm sorry that he was the person that like caused it, but Jen slash Justin over here has he's created quite a few shows that, uh, that have got such a long span of like episodes. Damn, good work, artist. Maybe, maybe he's doing God's work and we just don't know. Honestly, what, what do you guys want to do now? Because I, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. I really don't. Damn, <laughs> okay, shit. I never heard like the person who catfished be like, I don't know, what do you want to do? You want to play pool? You want to, what, you want to play darts? You want to go to a bar? Because if not, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go home with my girlfriend who exists, unlike him, because I'm his girlfriend, but I'm a guy. This guy sucks. What would be great to accomplish is to try and get through to this guy. Okay, so I guess they go home because like, Artist is like done and so is Justin. They're like, all right, we're done with this investigation. I, I think they just go home. There's no serious resolution, but I think a few days go by, they're still in Chicago and they say, all right, we're gonna call Justin and try and understand his motives. It's like a criminal, you know, like you're interrogating them and you're like, okay, I need to know why you did what you did. Cause we just don't understand the psyche otherwise. Otherwise Justin's just doing random shit. So we gotta know. Yeah, it's Neve and Max here, good morning. We were just checking in to see if you'd be interested in meeting up with us. How you doing? Oh, sorry. I mean, if you made it this far, now is my favorite part of the whole episode by a long shot. They actually, they go to Justin's house. <laughs> they go to Justin's house, they open the door, and Neve starts playing with this dog. And the dog's really friendly and lovely. And so they're like, oh, this is a lovely dog. Is this your dog? And he's just like, no. <laughs> and then Neve's like, uh, uh, oh, whose dogs is it? And he's like, does it matter? Come on in. Good, man. We just met your dog. Is that your dog? No. Oh. Doesn't matter. Come in. Okay. Well. How do you do that? How do you... <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't know who's dog. <laughs> nope. Not my dog. That's just a dog. You know what I'm saying, dog? No, I don't know who's... That's... I thought that was a cat the whole time. The interview was not great. So we thought... Oh, he's idea. cheesing it, man. He's really smiling. I see no reason to beat a dead horse. I mean, what you see is what you get. What you have here is a complete... Are we getting a daytime drama episode? I'm, I didn't know I was watching The Bold and the Beautiful. Holy shit. I came in to get an interview and besides the fact that this dude looks like he's criminally insane, his hair is always wet and I don't know what's been happening. Has he been like swimming laps until they came? He's like, basically is like, I don't know what else you want from me. I don't know what more to tell you. I suck and I own up to it. Does he give a if I apologize? No. So I'll tell you what. I don't care. But you broke your elbow. Damn. That's, that's a good speech, bro. He's gonna do TED Talks. Give up. You gonna give up? Well, that's one thing you're giving up on. Giving up. Just give up. So you don't have to try anymore. My name is Justin. I used to go by Jen. Could this person he's never met really give him what he wanted? And if not, what am I doing? My eye! Oh, what is that shot, guys? <laughs> what is that shot? <laughs> Why? Why the feet? <laughs> Y'all, y'all had to have that in shot. This is such a weird angle, bro. <laughs> it just looks crazy. It's got like, who even wears that? Like, this is like a, a conflict of interest. If you're wearing short pants, 
and like a hoodie, it's like, what's cold and what's not? The top half of your body is warm, but the bottom's like cool. Like, what the fuck is happening, bro? I am who I am now because I was homeless. I had nowhere else to go. My father died abruptly. So this is a lot. Like, so now, I mean, it's like a villain. He's explaining his backstory. He's like, my father died abruptly. He didn't, he didn't prolong that shit. He just, in mid-sentence, he was like, hey, just, and then just passed away. He, he was, he was dead. Discovered that because I found his body. Oh, that's gotta mess someone up. I mean, like, I'm not trying to even take away from it. Like, this probably sucks if a guy was homeless and everything. Maybe he's got lots of unpacked things that maybe some therapy would help. But clearly, clearly this man needs some sort of therapy to talk about. Because this looks like someone who's been holding in a lot of thoughts and is trying to get them out in very unhealthy ways. But Neve's not a psychologist and Max is a pervert. So why are we sitting here trying to help a person when we don't have the tools to do that? He sips another sip of his beer drunkenly and decides everything's done. There's no more for me to say. And so he stops. How do you want to move forward from this? You guys can't do anything for me. Ah, uh, so yeah, they're basically, they ask, how, how, how do you move forward from this? And he says, I, for me, you can't do anything. Then he puts on his hoodie like he's Justin Bieber from 2010 and then presumably like flies off into the night, I guess. We meet up with the artists a while while later and he's with his friend and he just basically is like yo I'm not gonna be doing this again he seems in better spirits and at least his conscience is a bit more clear I don't know about his relationship though it really teach me to leave the internet alone for me for right now I ain't telling nobody else to leave it alone well, and I think our work here is done I guess the boys at Catfish helped unveil a very thinly veiled thing. Artist over here was gonna leave his family for a dude called Justin by mistake. They sort of figured that out. I would have let this thing happen. I would have let it happen because I mean, come on. This was a really, really bad circumstance. This guy was gonna leave his wife or girlfriend and three kids for a girl that's actually a guy and they could have rode off into the sunset for all I know. It could have been love. But anyway, it says one month later, they check up on both parties. Are you still uh, using the fake profile? It's certain of its purpose. Feel bad about artists? Uh, I don't really think about him that much. He's a fart in the wind. <laughs> One month later, they call up Justin. Justin says he's had no contact with artists. They ask about his profile. He's like, nah. And then he calls he calls artists a fart in the wind. That's He does it with a straight face, which just makes it so much better. The story behind it, I can't wait to tell you, but like, ooh, that's such a funny thing to say. And then at the end, he's like, all right, boys, I'll see you later. And then he hangs up on them. Not caring about other people sets you up to not be cared about. I don't care. <laughs> uh, that's that's a line from Seinfeld. That shouldn't be in Catfish. Not That should be on a t-shirt. Honestly, Neve, not, not caring about other people sets you up to not be cared about. Justin, I don't care. Like, just a... Perfect response. This is a fucking amazing response. Gentlemen, take care. Yeah, so like I said, he cuts them off and then they go to Artis and Artis is like doing somewhat better. He's he's having better communication with his girlfriend or I guess now just the baby mama. Would you say that you guys are back together? Yeah, it's getting there, you know what I'm saying? Has your dry spell been broken? Yeah. Bro, what is with you and asking sex question 24 seven? Is that the only thing you care about, bro? Obviously, oh my God, dude. This guy was gonna have sex with a Facebook profile picture, okay? Either way, he was gonna get some. Stop asking questions, Max, you pervert. I know it's on that camera. It's just somehow digital pornos. Jesus, Max. That's all Max cares about, and Neve is happy because he thinks he reconciled a relationship even though it was standing on twigs to begin with. I don't believe this for a second. Wow. <laughs> That's great. And something really good did come out of this. See you later, man. Bye-bye. Uh, they end by saying something good came out of it, but I can't figure out what. And that is the episode. So it ends there, and it is proved to be like the most talked about episode on MTV's Catfish in its entirety so far. As far as I know, it's the most watched episode and it has the most lore to it. So I was just very curious to see whether it was fake. And it turns out Artis and Justin actually know each other. In fact, they're actually friends. And they went on to the show 
pretending not to know each other. So in essence, they catfished the people of Catfish. They did this to get on the show to get some notoriety and attention because they wanted to get careers other than the ones they have. And if you think I'm lying, I have proof because here is a video. <laughs> where the guy Justin talks directly to Neve, and for some reason they film it in the wind on a tornado day or something because you can barely hear anything. But the dude goes off on Neve and explains his situation and why he did it. And it just further proves to me that this wasn't a character. This guy is a character. He is certifiably crazy, I would, I would say. I named this video Eat a Dick. You'll see why by the end, but if you didn't think this man was real. If you thought, maybe he's just a faker, this is all an act, here is my boy Justin with the guy he catfished, Artis, finally telling us the truth, how it really is. Okay, so, honest to God, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting on this, you know, a lot of people have been- I've seen snuff films with better quality than this. I haven't, that's a joke, please, never. Ugh. Waiting on the truth, so, let's get real, let's get relevant, dude. God, snuff films are better at audio than this. I'm sorry. Come on, man. Why is there so many? Why? Why do people do this? How are you going to make exposed videos outside of the car on the windiest day in Chicago? Chicago's known as the Windy City, and you're willingly like, yeah, I'm going to expose Neve, and hopefully nobody can hear it. Okay, so I'm going to try and talk you through what's happening, uh, you know. For those of you who still want to listen instead of getting bombarded by the wind, it turns out that Justin has now blamed Neve for all of his shortcomings in life. He literally said, I blame all of my problems on Neve and the show Catfish because it apparently isn't as real as people say it is. We're kind of sick and tired of being buried by you guys. You know, we gave you the biggest episode you've ever had, and you basically have shit on us. That is true. Um, I will say, Justin has contributed to probably the most uh, notorious episode on, on Catfish that I've seen, so I can't fault him for that. But at the same time, you know, like big what kind of thing. And a day after we put that video out, doesn't it look like um, it's Trevor from GTA and the other guy, the crazy one? Not Michael. That guy, oh, what the hell is his name? Yeah, his name's Trevor, I'm sorry. Franklin and Trevor. Doesn't it look like those two? Like when, this is what happens when there's no Michael. Just anarchy. To tell me, hey man, if you want, you can make a promo for $300 to promote season three. What you're telling me is, hey man, don't tell anybody the truth. You're, you're full of shit. Just okay, so <clears throat> at this point he's going offensive on Neve. He's, he's like, man, Neve is full of BS. Neve tried to bribe us to stop doing the video, even though he said, I'll give you money to promote the video. I don't, I don't know. It seems to me now, now I'm realizing that Justin is not as funny because it's hella funny when it's on Catfish. You're like, oh, that might be an actor. And as soon as they say scene, he's like, oh my goodness, what a, what a, what a take that was. Uh, but no, this guy is really, who he's a method actor. He's a method actor. At this point in time, Neve supposedly believes that the story What? <laughs> what? I, why? Why do I have to play charades with Justin, man? This is not what I plan to do on my day. He fucking tells you, oh, you're gonna get a lot of tales in this episode. But not everybody is like him. Not everyone is like you, Neve. Not everybody has cheated on their fucking girlfriend. Okay, well, within the last 10 seconds, apparently Neve told Artis that he's gonna get a lot of tail, which is just the old word for pussy. So that's what, because apparently Neve was, I, I don't know, maybe it's a thing he said, maybe it's not. But then also Justin claims that Neve has cheated on his girlfriend. How does Justin know that? Unless he's been catfishing Neve, I don't know. But I'd like to know the proof. Okay, so apparently they're also, I believe, I guess they wanted jobs from this one appearance, which would, you know, not make sense in Catfish. Like, these two guys catfished us. It turns out 
We were the ones who got catfished. Now they're on our team. Even though in the episode, one of them came off as really unlikable and the other guy basically was cheating on his partner till we stepped in. So we're gonna give those guys jobs. Does it does it sound right, you know? I mean, like, I, I love movies. I wanna be a director so badly. I'm telling you, if I go up to Steven Spielberg and I'm like, hey, you owe me a job. I don't, I don't think that that's gonna happen. I don't. If it does, then my god, I'd be screaming at people all the time. You see, well, yeah. You know what? Because you've never had to deal with the hardships that regular people like you and I have to. In all reality, I know what a fucking yoga room is. This okay. Well, now he's squatting. This is where this is where women go to to decompress. Like, this is cheers for them. You know what I mean? They just sit around, they bitch, they moan, and of course, in walks the biggest bitch, Neve. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> Apparently, it's what bitches keep bitching in the yoga class. All right. Biggest problem I have with Neve, honest to God. Is that oh my God, he took a knee. He's gonna marry Neve. I, I truly believe in my heart the guy's a coward. Here's the truth. Artis and I are friends, and this is what we did. How do you believe? That's so like. I truly believe in my heart that you're a piece of shit. Like, this is like so personal. Like, it's like such a deep, like deep down in my soul, I believe you're an asshole. Like, whoa, that's, that's much. Isn't it? Isn't that a little much? I get a text back from him and he says, stand by. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I don't understand, you know, like cell phone lingo. I don't understand. Like, what most I know is LOL. What the fuck is stand by? I really like how the cameraman is like, you know, what's important is his shirt that says Superior Health Club and nothing else. Not his face, eyes, or any of the important parts that we need to look at. I'm the cameraman. I'm gonna film the middle of his shirt. Superior Health, unless the guy owned the gym, why is he filming his shirt? Talk to Dave. Where's Neve? This is his show. Get on the fucking phone with me for five minutes, man. I gave you the biggest episode and you can't get on the phone? You have fucking Dave? Who's this queer? Oh, shit! Dave! Dave caught a stray! Why? Dave was just existing, man! That's- that's crazy. Uh, my condolences to Dave. You did not deserve that. Cause to me, at this point, I'm like, I'm thinking, you know what, you're just a nice guy on TV. You're just some Arabian Ken doll on, ten, on fucking TV. Arabian Ken doll! This is progressively becoming... I'm easy to listen to, man. Justin turned from like, oh, edgy to, oh, what the hell? I'm not afraid of you people. You people want to do business, that's one thing. But you guys are going to give me empty threats? I could give a shit, man. You don't scare me. Okay, so I guess he's, yeah, I'm sorry. I zoned out for a while. A lot of cussing, a lot of swearing. He's now, like, saying that MTV Catfish doesn't scare him, which is good. I mean, I didn't ever see Neve as a threatening sort of figure. He, he, he looks like, you know, Spongebob, early days kind of physique, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Max is the scary one. Uh, he's just standing there, menacingly. Because he's like, it's clearly Steve Martin's like, roided up twin brother or something. That's the guy I'd be mad about. But I guess Justin's not afraid of anyone, like Eminem song. And he has the audacity to tell me, you know, well, what can you do for MTV? What makes you think you could, what makes you so special? Can you imagine someone actually being like, you know, say you go to a job and someone's like, what makes you the right person for the job? And Justin's like, what makes me the right person for the, how dare you have the fucking, what's your name? What? Jeff. Je fuck you, Jeff. What? Bezo. <laughs> Bezo, more like bitch ass. <laughs> This guy is, he's got an ego, man. As stupid as it sounds, even if you go on Wikipedia, you can see that the ratings were declining and they actually reached 2 million when we came on. And this is at the regular time. Man, he didn't watch any of these episodes. He didn't watch Catfish, but he's looking at the ratings. This guy is certifiable. This is crazy, man. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that. I don't watch the show. I just watch the ratings. Look at us. Give us jobs. He's like a union worker. Being a man. Not a man. <laughs> oh, you pulled the rug under me. Being a man, you're not even a man. <laughs> oh, shit. He's <laughs> dropping bangers, man. This guy dropping gems. Pick them back up. I know what kind of a manipulator you are. 
I know how sadistic you are, and I know what gets you off. I know you love catfish because it's your freak show. All those facts. You know what gets him off? This is sounding more and more like a ex who is just not let go. And he's like, Neve, I know. Why don't you talk to me for five goddamn minutes, you manipulator? Everything that this person is, is like projecting onto someone else. Oh my gosh. My family gets involved, and not when you try to bury two, two nice guys. And you know what? I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut for that bullshit shit. When were you nice? What? the hell constitutes as mean if this is not oh my goodness me Ooh, justin <laughs> oh my god justin time is what's gonna that's what the cops are gonna say when they arrest him but uh Paris, thanks for uh for coming here buddy it's all good. Good. get the fuck out of here oh, he's, nobody's ever asking him the real questions how come nobody's ever asking him? he finally puts on his hoodie so now he looks like he's going to do a rap battle and artists you know, looks like he's been held captive throughout this whole process. I actually read the article on this video. <laughs> they did publish an article on it. An artist, he said that he didn't have any problem with the boys. It was more Justin that did. But he's also a friend of Justin for some reason. And he wanted to support both his homies, I guess. Did y'all get catfished? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, they did. But the reason I named this one Eat a Dick is because of this famous reason here. Y'all got <laughs> catfished! Sorry that somebody who makes 11 bucks an hour is smarter than you and all your MTV motherfuckers. You can eat a dick. Sign out on that. There you go. There it is. Justin, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> How deep does this iceberg go? Even deeper. He actually has two videos on his personal channel, which I don't think there is any merit in showing because all he does is screams and is shirtless for five minutes. And if that's something you like to see, I hope that you do it <laughs> in your own time because it is wild. But with that, that is the end of the most wild catfish episode where the actual main characters got catfished. The people in the episode turned out being friends but the guy who pretended to be crazy was really crazy. A hell of a deep dive, if you ask me. Thank you so much for being with me through this. If there's any other videos that you want me to talk about, or even deep dives or like icebergs, I might be doing that a little more. So let's see. But thank you so much. Take care. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. She ain't even got a ass. She did a dash and bit a lash. You know a dash and she know.